Like for me, in the next five years, I want to see like uh, the youth population mainly engaging in food web production. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being so consistent. It has been a while since I posted a video in Liberia, and it has been a long time since I did an interview with a young entrepreneur in Liberia. And I'm excited to be here today with a talented young Liberian lady who's doing amazing in the shoe industry in Liberia. So hello, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. You look good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Is it April for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, can you please introduce yourself, tell us your name, and what you do in Liberia? Um, my name is Dorita Dikwi. I am a civil engineer and a shoemaker. I am the founder of the Leaders Crafts. Okay, you're an engineer. Yeah. So where did you get your degree and when did you earn it? Okay, I graduated from the Stella Maris Polytechnic in 2022, January, with a BSc in civil engineering. How did Lida, Lida's shoes um, come about? Because you study civil engineering at Stella Maris. There is absolutely no relationship between civil engineering and shoemaking. Like, when I was in school at that time, I was already doing civil engineering, but I decided to change into the entrepreneur world. But at that time, shoemaking was not ready on my mind yet until I attended the Yali leadership training in Lagos. By that time, it was 2018. So I met this aspiring young woman. Her name is Chindema Chukwemeka. So they own a footwear academy. So after the training and so on, I decided to contact her and then go into that field. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, these days when I go to these workshops, I need to be looking for more than the food. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so where did you learn shoemaking? Did you learn in Nigeria or Liberia? No, Nigeria. That's in Abba. Because at that time, when I contacted her and then I have to go, she was in Lagos, so I decided to go into the training. But I was there in school and then I needed fun to go and learn. So I was there getting prepared until she moved to Abba, Abia State. So when I was like, I, after my thesis and I told her that I'm ready now because I'll be graduating January, but I'm not going to stay for my graduation. So I'll go and learn the shoemaking. Okay. So <laughs> we did everything and then I was able to travel to Abad to go and get it. So you learned from her? Yeah, yeah, from her academy. They call oh. it the Footwear Academy. Footwear Academy. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am, if you're watching this video. <laughs> Your student is doing well. <laughs> So um, when did you come back to Liberia? And before you, um, when did you come back to Liberia in the first place? So I, I came back in May of 2022. After earning uh, a diploma or certificate? Yeah, in certificate shoemaking. in shoemaking. shoemaking. So when you came back to Liberia, did you try to find your job in civil engineering? No, at that time I was like focused on interpreting entrepreneurship now like I was finding means to do this establishment because it was not easy to go over there and get it yeah yeah and get it like this tree so I was just trying to gather forms to start the establishment so how was how was it like learning in Nigeria no, like for me, it was it was the easiest. In fact, I, I think I was the first international student. So they treat me, I was like, I, I didn't even know if I was a student because they, they nurtured me well. Everything was just the environment, the learning, everything. I was just like someone they talked to, you know. <laughs> So um, since you came back to Liberia and you decided to focus on shoemaking, um, how has it been like? Huh. It's not easy because the first time I came and then I walk around, I couldn't even see a material to begin with, you know. So I was like, ah, 
I've waited for like a year plus. So I was, I was kind of like, ah, don't tell me I went to let this church just to come and sit. But I have to again find means to generate funds and then travel to another country to get the material and start decision making. Wow. Yeah. So what kinds of um, materials and are there no materials in like Gerardo? No, the major material for shoe making there, the leather, the the Nora, Marco, we have all those material. You can easily find it. Yet. It's not even yet. Like for the few people I met, like that's the same problem they face. So those who like have the finance or the connection to get someone either in Ghana or Nigeria to get them the material, they are the ones you see like trying to to make shoes as yeah. often as possible. Yeah. Wow, that is sad. And whenever I interview entrepreneurs, one thing they always tell me when it comes to packaging or when it comes to the materials, you don't find them in Liberia. My friend sells pepper sauce and she has to get the bottles. She has to find ways to get the bottles from Ghana, which in its own is kind of humiliating. Seriously. It's not even kind of, it is humiliating. So that is something that we have to work on. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for business ideas, this is something that you can do. So instead of Liberians leaving Liberia, because this is something that holds you back. Yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of leaving Liberia, we don't have the money. So if you come and bring something like that in Liberia, it will help a lot of people and you will also make money while contributing to society yeah, seriously. so what kinds of shoes do you make so personally we are engaging in slippers only the african slippers like uh, did an advertisement about the the belts and the bags but now we don't have product on here guys i have another trip to make to be able to get the, the, uh, those other materials so fix the yeah items. yeah seriously because if i was just waiting to get everything at once i don't think i was going to begin <laughs> seriously. And you know, so I'm making money. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> so how much do you sell the slippers? So I, for now, I have 15 to $20 for a pair of slippers. $15 yeah. mm -hmm. OK, and how guaranteed, like how strong? <laughs> it's very strong. I don't even need to say it. Once you just touch the material, you will know, like, people will be doubting, oh, I hope it's strong and thing. But once you touch the material, I don't even need to convince you that it's actually guaranteed. Okay, so as a female entrepreneur, um, if you put getting materials aside, the difficulty it takes to get materials in Liberia, if you put that aside, what are other challenges that you have faced in the entrepreneur space as a lady who's trying to make a way in an industry that is male dominated? So seriously, I can say every, everywhere there's struggle. So like as an entrepreneur, you you know you have struggle and then those problems that will always be there to have to fight and get there. But the material is the, the like to say the most difficult aspect of it. Because maybe you will find issue like you buy product, you have to advertise it. Those things are normal issues that you have to fight. And then you see like, oh, a woman is making shoe. Like, is it even guarantee your stuff? Like, yeah, so you can tell the person, oh, yes, it's guarantee. Once they see it, they believe it. So those are those doubts that people have about you. You can clear out and think about the material. Yeah, I'm like, yes, 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 okay. Even the transport to go and get it. So like for me in the next five years I want to see like uh, the youthful population mainly engaging in footwear production. I want us to like we, we should stop importing the Af mostly the African slippers and thing. We can make these things like almost everyone in Liberia like sh and have. You see, they love African slippers mm -hmm. and things. So imagine if one person from a hustle is producing their own slippers. So you you have a job to do. You have a money to make. And then I'm trying by all costs to be able to open a marketplace, even if we don't have people not to invest there. Maybe they want to say, oh, we don't have so many shoemakers, so we can we can invest in buying materials. But me alone, I want to start training people, so I'll have to bring some material at least. Even if you want to make a pair of stoppers, you'll be able to walk to my marketplace and buy the material and be able to do something and get money from it. Okay, yeah. so you want to train people, but then you also want to have materials on hand that they can be able to purchase from you Seriously, instead should... of leaving the country. Yeah, so it shouldn't be, be like me after like graduation and I have to wait, wait a year plus. 
Yeah, plus before I can even get me, so somebody don't even have that means to go and get material. It's not easy. Just imagine the step from here to go, go, yeah, to go and learn on that side. Yeah, seriously. So it's we true. are bringing them, we are bringing the the craft to them, and we have to provide the means of them being able to do something. You see, a young graduate, they don't, they don't have like much money. Okay, you tell me, I will train you and thing. So what what are they going to use? After the training. After the training. Or even doing the training. Doing you have the to training, practice. yeah. Okay, let's say practicing, you will provide the material to practice and things, but after their time and finance to learn that craft, how are they going to put it to use to make money? So you have to provide them the material. Even if you are selling it to them, at least it's, it's available for them to buy it. True, at least there is an option. Yeah. Money. So are you looking forward to investors, to partnerships? Seriously, we are actually open. This is why I just brought this thing. So we are we are open to investors. We are open to partners who want to see the dream of the young people come to because it's another form of employment. So once you are a shoemaker, you got something to do to make money. You empower yourself. And you also have the ability to empower other people. True. That is how the cycle can go around. Yeah. So instead of just graduating from school and waiting to get a job, job from the okay. government yeah. or just passing it around, not doing anything yeah. to sustain yeah. yourself, it's better you learn something that can help benefit you and your family. Yeah. So that is amazing. Yeah. Um, where are you located? Okay. And how can people order from you? So we are online. We are on social platforms. We also have our showroom on Benson Street between... Johnson and Lane Streets. So once you get around that you call us, you'll be able to easily locate us. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave her contact information in the description box and I'm also going to pin in the comment section so you can reach out to her to be able to order and support a Liberian business. Also, you can reach out to Dorothy, the CEO of Lidas Craft, and you can talk partnership and investment opportunities with her. And if your terms are applicable enough and you both meet on the same path, you both have the same goals for empowering young Liberians, you can reach out, invest in someone so young and talented who can help bring a change to Liberia in another way that is not involved with politics. Yeah. So um, do you have any last um, words that you would like to share? Any question that I didn't ask you that you would like to answer or to just motivate young people in Liberia as a whole? Yes, seriously. Yes, it's also a part of motivation just to like, for the videos I posted online, the reaction of young people, they are reaching out That's to me. That's why even came across online. Seriously, they are reaching out to me. Oh, I, I like, want to learn things. Like, I'm telling you, hold on, hold on. It's not like I don't want to bring no one. So even if you come and learn, What's the material and things? So I'm trying to put my candidates into place that even if I have to take in the three or five students at my first goal, I should be able to provide them the material that they'll be able to purchase and then start their own business when they graduate from here. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes we want to learn skills in Liberia, yeah. but we don't have a lot of options to learn from. There's yeah. so many things you cannot learn in Liberia, which is yeah. sad, but it's amazing that we have people like you with open mindset who are ready to make that change. Yeah. So thank you, and I hope you continue a good job. Sure. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to patronize her business. You can also check in the description box to get her contact information so that you can reach out to her and buy something that is Liberian made by a young Liberian in Liberia. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notifications bell. Bye-bye.